Mountain Drum Gamer Talk Podcast. Listeners, gamers, geeks, grown-ups, and internet, welcome back to Console Drone's Gamer Talk Podcast. In a time where video games have taken over every device, where most games are riddled with microtransactions and paywalls, where eventually you will burn out on your favorite looter shooter, this is a weekly podcast where we talk about everything and anything but mainly video games in a place somewhere in Washington, right out of Northern Arizona, from the inside of your podcast app. This is season number two, episode 127. Today, the full crew is here. If you're listening to our podcast, tune into our YouTube channel for the video version of each week's podcast. Want to show us support? The best way to do so is to rate and review our podcast on iTunes. We thank each and every one of our listeners and viewers. Thank you for your support. Let's start the show. It's time for What You Drinking and What Have You Been Playing. All right, let's start off this week with Joe. Joe, what are you drinking? What have you been playing this week, buddy? Drinking Sunbrew again. Uh, last one, actually. I've been playing the Division 2. I played a little bit with John. And then I played um, Mortal Kombat 11. Beat the story on that. And Old Republic. And I did play some more of the Fortnite Avengers crossover on the Switch. Nice. Shame. Shame. I won't shame you, buddy. I was, that's cool, man. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> All right, let's move on over. Calm to... down, John. <laughs> Whoops. Let's move on over to John. John, what are you drinking, and what have you been playing this week, buddy? Yeah, what are you drinking? Bumping in that fucking everything over there. I am drinking a Glen Levitt Twelve Year Scotch. Oh, damn. Out of my new uh, WSU goblet or tumbler? I don't know what you call them. Highball glass. Tumbler. Tumbler. Mm, yummy. This week, I've played mostly just Division. I tried Capcom versus Marvel Marvel 3 and realized it's a game like Mortal Kombat where I'm not good at it. So I turned it off. Duh! Um, I played half of a round of Overwatch and got annoyed and turned it off. And I played a little bit of Batman. And that's it. Sweet. All right, let's move on over to Miguel. Miguel, what are you drinking? What have you been playing this week, buddy? Uh, drinking Mountain Dew Code Red and... What is like? You're a dick. <laughs> Just because you suck at it and don't want to play it. Well, I, I don't want to buy it because I'm not good at it and probably wouldn't enjoy it. So well, I haven't even, spent the money. Even if someone bought it for you, you wouldn't play it. So Maybe. I can't <clears throat> say for sure. I'm pretty sure we could say for sure. Uh, maybe. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. It's up in the air. Maybe. 97%. Well, the number just got higher. I what said 97 the first time, but what okay. What are you drinking and what have you been playing? What the hell? Oh, you you're talking to me? What, yeah, you said your name Chris. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then yeah, yeah, I was talking <laughs> to you. Uh, all I've been playing is on my PSVR Firewall Zero Hour, and on my Xbox played some Division Two, and that's pretty much me this week. What are you drinking? 
And uh, I'm drinking some water right now. John's not disappointed in you. I'm very disappointed in you. I said not. Yes, but I am. (laughs) He's home, alone, (laughs) no wife, no kids. They're in a different town that's an hour away, and he's not drinking? There's my what the fuck. Okay, sweet. I'll change (laughs) I'll change that what the fuck later. I got some in the fridge, goddammit. I don't want a beer at the moment. But anyways. You ain't got no Tito's? I do have Tito's. It's in the what other you room. smoking in what you in what you playing? <laughs> <laughs> Not smoking anything right now. Mm. I'm just chilling. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> awkward silence. <laughs> All right, I guess it's time for the news. Joe, what news do you have for us, buddy? I don't know. Let's talk about. is weekly news keeping us informed and up to date in the gaming industry uh, halo yeah. master chief collection supports cross platform progression between pc and xbox one i'm not getting into that self-explanatory rainbow six siege a game we haven't really been talking about but super popular um the new team killing rules go in effect today so I guess the new system is dubbed reverse friendly fire will go live today and um, for PC, PS4 and Xbox one for all rainbow six siege players. Yes. Miguel. Is that something called ricochet? I don't know. Reverse friendly fire. Okay. Yeah. Um, the goal, however, as explained by the developer, it remains the same. It penalizes players who deliberately team kill without compromising on the high tension brought on by having friendly fire in the first place. So if you deliberately friendly fire, then I guess, uh, yeah, you get penalized. That's a fine line to walk because, I mean, there's, as we know from Call of Duty, it's like, oh, shit, that was a friendly. Or you're shooting down the line and somebody walks in front of yeah. you exactly. well and, and I, friendly i i think that's something that's kind of easy to if they have the ai to determine which is which like that is a clear cut like oh you're firing someone moves in your path okay that's understandable but i mean those instances where you turn a corner and ta ta oh that was joe sorry <laughs> those yeah, jump so- scares in the first person shooters are just awful sometimes So I guess it's activated when an offender kills a teammate or deals a certain amount of damage to them, and future damage dealt will instead be reflected onto the griefer. So if if you walk around the corner, tat-tat, and then you do it again, then it comes back at you. Ricochet? Mm. Okay. So you have to make it like it's deliberate, pretty much. mm Mm-hmm. Um, this is true for primary and secondary weapons. Gadgets, however, don't really do it, and it's been tricky with the gadgets, but explosives, grenade, C4, breaching charges are exempt. So people are just going to throw C4 at other players when they're trying to be griefers. Mm-hmm. Good it's... fix. Good job. You fixed it. Thank you, Ubi. Now uh... they just go boom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the new Overwatch escort map, Habana. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Uh, is live on all platforms. It's better than Ochre. Wow. We just you're got pretty, Joe. You're pretty good at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching the fucking Pepsi commercial enough. Anyway. Okay. Ochre. There you go. So yeah, Havana. Play it. Overwatch. Big deal. Uh, RDR 2, or actually RDR Online, players ranked 10 and above will earn a bonus... One hundred dollars this week. So log in. Real money? Ooh. Uh, no, it's in the game. Okay. They're not going to pay you hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. I'm just checking. I mean, it's Rockstar could probably Rockstar could probably afford to to pay every player on on Red Dead Online one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Yeah. On Red Dead Online. Yeah. You. Yeah. I thought you were yeah, going to say every player. No, 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 no. No, everybody that's on Red Dead Online 
above rank 10. So, yeah, if you haven't reached it, you have until Monday. Once you, once you reach rank 10, then you get the $100. Um, next. Oh, so not going to do that. Uh, do you want to ride a horse? Nope. <laughs> I'm done with horses. Of course. The original, yeah, of course. The original Devil May Cry is coming to the Switch this summer. So, Chris, play Ooh. it. You can yeah. button mash your switch as much as you want to. So awesome, thanks. Um, they haven't said when, but they just said summer. So it'll probably be kind of like an E three type thing. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> so that that game that you say is not a game on the cell phone, Elder Scrolls Blades now um, has it's available across all platforms, Android and iOS. So if you want to play, Chris, if you want to play like Elder Scrolls on the phone, download it. It's pretty fun. I enjoyed it. All right, cool. Hell yeah. Attack! 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 <laughs> That's what it is. You have, to like, you have to like hold attack and let it go at the certain amount, uh, certain right time to get extra damage. So um, it's a mini game. Got it. No, it's a full game. Like you can walk where you tap to walk and anyway. Um, but it's on your phone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Borderlands 3 is shooting, no pun intended, for 60 frames per second on the Xbox One X and will offer performance and visual modes. So if we're going to play the um, cell shooter launches September 13th, PC, PS4, and Xbox One, they are planning 60 frames per second on Xbox One X. Miguel? Did you just say PCP? PC, PS4. Okay. There. It's a different kind of PCP. Yeah. Angel, Angel Dust? That's a different news. Different news, guys. Different news. <laughs> uh, um, so separately, Gearbox said that Borderlands 3 does have microtransactions, but they're limited to cosmetics. So there won't be you no know, pay-to-win type things. Um, this kind of is news slash what the fuck. Um, so after the terrifying shit talking that we talked about Sonic last week, um, <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog is being redesigned. Yay! Yay! Maybe he'll have it. one eye for Joe now. Sweet. I'm still not gonna watch it. But, Cyclops um, Sonic. So yeah. Sonic with Down syndrome. <laughs> well, and and he doesn't look like a human wearing Sonic pajamas anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so yeah, man. they're they're re um they're reworking the CG shots and um, kind of fixing everything to make that makes Sonic Sonic. So. That's all I got for the news, guys. Sweet. All right. Well, it's uh, time for the dates and find out what we're going to be buying or not buying. Miguel, are you ready, buddy? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Calm down up there. Demonic dates, keeping us on track with what video games are coming out soon. Um, this week, 5-8, Legend of the Tetrax on Xbox, Woodle Tree Adventures on Xbox, Party Arcade on PlayStation, The Adventures of Bertram Fiddle, Episode 1, The Dreadly Business on Xbox, 5-9, Doling's Arcade on PlayStation, Life is Strange 2, Episode 3, Wastelands on Xbox and PlayStation, Frame, Dragon's Odyssey on Switch, Lost Artifacts, Soulstone on Switch, Ascendance on Switch, Masquerada, Songs and Shadows, and Shadows, not just songs, guys, Songs and Shadows, on Switch. So there's all your Switch bitch shit there for you, Chris. Thanks, man. <laughs> and then <laughs> 510, Lovecraft's Untold Stories, Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, Reverse Crawl, Switch, and Xbox. Here you go, guys. This one you might actually get, and I'm not bullshitting right now either. Saint Row the Third, the full package on Switch. Joe looks conflicted. I don't know. I, I never play played Saint Row. I don't. I don't. Honestly, don't play my Switch. I play my son's Switch, but I don't play my Switch. <laughs> you play a Switch for him? Yeah. Okay, Dragon Fangs or Dragon Fang Z 
I'm not sure how that's supposed to be read. The Rose and Dungeon of Time on Xbox. Super Space Serpent on Xbox. For the King on Xbox. My Big Sister on the Switch. There you go, Chris. Descendants on Xbox. And then 514. uh, For all you Bethesda fans out there that aren't like me and don't feel like uh, all Bethesda games are, well, most, Joe, most Bethesda games are all the same, just reskin. Rage 2 on Xbox and PlayStation. Sniper Elite V2 Remastered, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. A Plague Tale Innocence on PlayStation and Xbox. Darkwood on PlayStation. Figment on PlayStation. Rock of Ages 2 Bigger and Bolder on Switch. And Red Out on the Switch. So, have fun, guys. I'm getting none of those. Zero interest. Yeah. When is Borderlands coming out? September. Ah, so far away. Mm. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Won't see you there, probably. I don't know. I might play it. I haven't played Borderlands in a long time, but I remember how much fun we had when we were playing it. It was awesome, but yeah. I don't know. It depends on how multiplayer is. That and um, I will play Ultimate Alliance 3 on the Switch. I will be playing that. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, that's all I got. Sweet. Bye, guys. All right. See you later, Miguel. All right. Bye, Miguel. <laughs> all right. And now, moving on over to The More You Know with the Joker drone. John, are you ready, buddy? I was going to say, how much did I just fuck up my camera? <laughs> <laughs> Miguel and Joe are messing with their cameras. Uh, Yeah, I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up, step right up. Come on down. It's time for The More You Know with The Joker Drone. So this week on The More You Know, it's kind of a what the fuck, but hey, listeners, how come we only have one submission for our sidekicks versus side chicks bracket? The fuck's going Uh, on? And that's my brother. It's the only person who submitted a bracket. For this contest where you could win a bunch of free stuff. Don't you guys like free stuff? You don't even I have like, to pay for shipping. Jesus. I like free I'm paying, stuff. I'm paying the shipping. God damn. Yeah. Chris <laughs> is paying for the shipping. Free stuff. Um, so, yeah. Get your brackets in. We're not going to do the contest until we have at least five brackets. Because otherwise, it's kind of point. Oh, my computer dark. Hey, there it is. It's back. <laughs> the ghost in the machine uh so yeah we're not gonna do the contest we have five brackets because it's kind of pointless without people actually participating in the contest sorry jason you're not gonna win without a fight uh so yeah get your brackets in we're just gonna keep uh holding out until we get enough people to participate and remember free shit you all want free shit right unless it's literal shit no, yeah. No, we're not happy Gilmoreing this. Yeah, Wait, I'm, not, I'm, not, Madison? I'm not paying shipping on real I shit. It was Madison, didn't it? <laughs> is it Billy Madison? I believe no, so. No, I was happy. It was happy. Was it happy? I don't remember. <laughs> Billy Madison I was knocking on the door Adam and Sandler. running. It was Adam Sandler. We're not going to Adam Sandler this. Uh, we're also not going to send you chocolate dicks. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe Maybe that's why we haven't got bracket. Maybe, well, if they win, they're going to get... They're going to need their address, so maybe that's why we're not getting brackets. Like <laughs> like, I don't want them to send me a chocolate dick. <laughs> Unless you that's want exactly what happened as your prize. Then we can arrange that, too. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> please, please. Milk's in your mouth, not in your hand. If you can hear my voice, go to the consoledrones.com website, download the bracket, fill it out, and send it in to consoledrones at gmail.com to participate in the contest where you can win free stuff 
with a uh, subject line of "fuck you, Chris" for extra point. Jason Yay. didn't even get the extra point, so yeah, I'm not. I'm not really surprised Jason didn't put that in there. Is everyone afraid to say "fuck you, Chris" to me? I guess. Fuck you, Chris. Fuck you, Chris. Not you guys. Time Joe. About Fuck you, Chris. The world. Thank you. <laughs> there, Joe said it, so now the world can say it. Yeah. Send in your brackets. Yeah. All right. Um, that's all I have. I'm really starting to feel my uh, scotch. It's delicious. Nice. And I took my glasses off, so everything's blurry anyway. Yeah. Oh, so you just you just wanted to feel like you were drunk, didn't you? Oh, I feel it. It's good. Sweet. Yum, yum, yum. Scotch. All right, well, That's it. All right, we're going to move on down to uh, our what the fucks for the week. Do you guys have any what the fucks this week? Go for it. Yeah, go Joe. for it, Joe. And now it's time for our what the fucks for the week. Oh, well, Joe's thinking about his what the fuck, clearly. Um, what the fuck, Joe? Where's your beard? <laughs> he shaved his face and his head. Yep. I am clean shaven. No, no. He's got a he's got a little goatee thing going on. But it's still clean. It's all cleaned up. It's not like pubes glued to my face. He's got the goatee for the goat's Tom Brady. No, oh. like I said, I was going for the Nick Fury look. <laughs> um, go ahead, Joe. These motherfucking Thanos and these motherfucking Infinity Stones. No. <laughs> um, as far as what the fucks, um, I guess I do have a what the fuck. It's it's a, it's it's about Mortal Kombat. Um, I oh, do. It no. sucks. I. <sighs> I don't. It doesn't suck. Okay, no. it's 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 a different style of fighter, like I had said last week. But the more and more I played the story, the end boss, uh, Kronika, what the fuck? I mean, spoiler alert: there's a fucking T Rex that comes across the screen. I was like, really? This is Mortal Kombat. I mean, it's kind of it's. I don't know. It's like last minute type shit they threw in there and I, I yeah anyway going back to what I was talk, what I was originally going to say was that it is a different style fighter it is um, not your typical fighter but playing through the whole story it got to a sense to where I felt like it was the world's first time based turn based fighting game um, you know, all of us that have played uh, turn-based RPGs like Final Fantasy VII, it's like fight, you know, do, you know, hit or magic or whatever. But just playing it so much and for so long, I thought about it and the more I kept like playing it, it felt like you would input a command and you would wait for the combo to finish. You know, and it's, to me, it's like, this is almost like turn-based, you know? It's like I'm inputting my commands and I sit there and I watch and then, okay, they're finished, you know? And yeah, I know I could chain combos, one combo right after the other after the other, but I don't know. I just got to a point where it was like, I would do a combo and then a special move and then another combo. And then it was just like, I'd have to wait like maybe two seconds or a second and a half for the combo to finish. So I don't know. I just caught on to that and it stuck with me and it was kind of like a what the fuck because after that I turned it off and I played uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. And yeah, Dragon Ball Fighters is a totally different fighting game and I know control schemes different. But I didn't have to wait for the combo to finish. It was like as I was pressing the buttons, the combo was going on. So I don't know. I like I love Mortal Kombat. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I love the story. Um, yeah, I wish they would do more shit with a story, um, but that was just my only what the fuck was. It just felt like it was almost turn based to a point. 
I mean, Miguel, you probably experienced this where you're, you've probably gotten so proficient with the game that you can do, you know, max combo possibly maybe like, (laughs) maybe like a three or four button combo. And then, I don't know, just to me, I don't, who were you playing as? Um, well, I was playing as everybody because I went through the story mode. So you get to play as mm-hmm. everybody except for the bad guys, which I like the bad guys. My favorite so far is Noob. Okay. Noob is my favorite. I like Scorpion, but my other what the fuck is get over here. <laughs> and then it's a sword slash, not an uppercut. I'm like amplify i know but still it's just like why do i have to push the extra button get because, over here down because you, you know, would down be, wide because mm-hmm. otherwise you'd be bitching about someone spamming it that's what they took mor- out but that's mortal combat though that's mortal combat i mean you get over here you know and then uppercut boom you expect that that's why i'm having a hard time trying to find things to spam god damn it <laughs> See that Chris is the reason that they took that out, <laughs> so we can't spam shit. Uh, Chris, you, I got, you got a perfect. A, you got a perfect burn meter to spam. Perfect character for Chris would be Kung Lao, where he does the teleport. Because you could just do down up B, down up A, down up X, down up, and you would just sit there and just, and he'd do these attacks, and you could just sit there and do that, and it, nobody would touch you. But, yeah, I have to. This is very. It's a very punishable move, Chris, so be, be wary of Joe's words. Yeah, because I did go through the tutorial, and they explained, like, the frames, how many frames it takes if uh, your attack is blocked and which attack is blocked, how many frames it takes to recover. Mm-hmm. So if you do that tutorial, you can learn, like, the spacing of the attacks and which attacks to use and not to use. And when and where yeah. and why. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's my what the fuck. Any other what the fuck? I blame Chris. Ah, my bad. My bad. (laughs) All right. I have a what the fuck. All right, John. Um, Sort of a what the fuck, I guess. Uh, Division two content. Once you beat the end game, uh, once you beat the, once you hit level thirty and you do the invasion. Uh, missions there's not a whole lot to do after that other than repeating the missions over and over again Offensive and I've repeat. looked at... yes Miguel what did you expect well I never got to the end of division one so I didn't really have an expectation okay. I didn't really know what to expect Um, but like I've played the invasion missions probably six times now and you can't. I can't find any weapons that have a gear a uh, gear score higher than five hundred. Um, you can upgrade some of the uh, exotics, but they only upgrade to five hundred. I haven't been able. I haven't found any upgrades. I have the uh, merciless, merciless. Is that what it's called, Miguel? Mm-hmm. I have that and upgrade. Computer, stop going to sleep. Yeah, stop uh, letting it go to sleep because you get all robot-y. Uh So I have the Merciless, and I can't figure out how to upgrade it higher than 500. There's, it, I upgraded it, and it peaked at 500. Yeah, I think it's only your gear that you can get over 500. Well, because you can, no, but, you but, can it show, stats. but it shows on the Merciless that it will go up to like 515 but I haven't figured out how to do it. Uh, so I've been trying to find uh, uh, clan keys to unlock specific uh, hyena caches um, to unlock the blueprints for other exotic weapons, the chatterbox. And that's ridiculous. The amount of time that you have to spend trying to farm these specific components to get blueprints for exotics it's like okay yeah there's still stuff to do but it's time consuming and it's really just it's not that intriguing and it's not that fun so i've played a lot of division two now but i'm really just playing the same shit over and over and over again 
Yes, Miguel. Uh, on that note, since you're clearly getting bored, how was Batman? Meh. It was okay. There's no horses. There's no horses. But, I don't know, I mean, it was okay. I'll play it again. It's just not really piquing my interest. Honestly, I'm having a hard time with any of the games I own piquing my interest right now and keeping me entertained. Um, I keep going back to Division 2 because... I'm still hoping to get better gear and get my gear score up higher. I'm at 509. Kind of stuck at 509. But it's possible to get to 515. But I haven't been able to figure out how yet. So, yeah, what the fuck, Division? You need to bring on the uh, the raids and more content. Cool. cool. Yeah. That's it. Cool. Miguel, you got a what the fuck? Mm, I, I guess I'll admit this. Um, <laughs> I underestimated Aeneas. Who? My nephew. Oh. In Mortal Kombat. Uh-oh. But, and so, that kid doesn't know how to be humble. He straight <laughs> shit talk. Shit talk for he? like two days. <laughs> he's ten. Well, yeah, he's ten. He straight shit talked for two days because we did like a little mini tournament. We did me and Silas first round and then him and his little brother. And then we just did like a mini bracket to that. And he was Kung Lao and me. And yeah, he, he beat me in the tournament portion of that. And then like that, that was on Sunday. And then yesterday I went to, uh, his little brother's baseball game and he showed up and after the game was over, they're like, are you going to come over and play Mortal Kombat? So I went over and played Mortal Kombat and I, I, I stomped him in the face. So I underestimated, I underestimated him first time. He doesn't, that kid, (laughs) he doesn't give a shit if he loses, if he, he's just like, Oh, well next time I'll get you. That's his mentality in baseball and Mortal Kombat. It's like, Oh, I sucked. Oh well. I'll, next time I'll I'll get you. But if he wins, then it's like, ooh, in your face. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure he's like, what in your face? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. So did you do it back to him when you beat him up? Did you get? Yeah, his... I did. Just because of that. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Twice. Twice. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> and he's like, good job. Yeah. He was like, he's like, yeah. I'll get you next time. He's all he's like, all sipping on his tea like. Fun. <laughs> That's okay. funny. But Got yeah, pinky up. Yep. But <laughs> Silas and I have had some good matches. Um, Who's so better? it depends. So like, he kept beating my ass until we would do like a tournament style like bracket with his brothers where I'm playing him. He hasn't beat me in that realm yet. So. Pretty evenly matched, though. Um, to Joe's point of RPG turn-based, this is a little different from that. One thing I did notice is, like, if you're blocking and someone's attacking you and then they stop attacking, then it's like, okay, my turn to attack, and then they block, and then, wait, you go on the defensive, so... Yeah. This is the thing I did notice. For people that aren't spamming, it's kind of like attack, defense, attack, defense. So. But, yeah, that's all I got. What about you, Chris? Uh, I do have one what the fuck. It's more of like a, a it was a trippy what the fuck that I. So on my PlayStation VR, I decided to try out Rec Room um, the other day. Uh, I had some free time and. <laughs> I I've never really experienced what rec room is really. I, I just heard that like activities that you can do with other players and stuff in like a big giant rec room, I guess. So I was like, all right, well, let's see how cool it is in VR. So I go into this room in virtual reality. It's pretty cool. You can pick up things and interact with uh, the room around you and stuff. And there's this giant door. It says rec room and I walk in and the trippiest thing that I hear is, there are players everywhere. It's super active game. And there are so many players, different ages, like 20-year-olds to 
eight year olds to even sounds like four year olds. It trips me the fuck out. But these are actual players that are playing in there. It looks like a giant cafeteria. And I'm just standing there looking at these characters, all these different kids. And one kid's like running around with a giant pencil. He's like, hey, look, I have a giant dick. I'm going to fuck your mom. And he keeps running around like chasing this other kid. And there's these other kids that look like they're playing jump rope or whatever the fuck they're doing. And there's this uh, kid that sounds like he's about eight years old and he's over there bullying, him, bullying these kids. Like, hey, fuck you, faggot, you know, and saying all this crazy stuff. And then in this other corner, there's like these 18-year-olds talking about um, some sort of anime movie that they saw or some weird shit in this giant, like, rec room. And I'm like, what the fuck am I in? It was like the trippiest game. I've Yes, Miguel. VR chat. It's yeah. It's PlayStation's version of VR chat. Yeah, it was the it's the trippiest thing though cuz I mean like you're you go into a different world and like you can walk up to these people and it's like in your face and everything since it's in VR. But I couldn't believe how active like these people like take how serious they are in in the uh, rec room. It was really nuts. But just the the mixture of personalities in one room. It's definitely a trip to check out if you've never experienced that. Uh, so that was my what the fuck was just like, whoa, what the fuck did I get myself into? So it was pretty, pretty weird. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's my only what the fuck this week was just yeah, experiencing a, a chat room. Yeah, it was weird. Uh, all right, so I guess we'll move on to random shit and we'll close this up for this week since we didn't get any fucking emails from anybody. God damn it. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> except, except Jason. Thank you, Jason. Yes. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Jason. You're amazing. You're Chris. our only listener. Any more Mortal Kombat, Chris? Uh, no, I played a few, Matt. I, I don't know. I don't. What Joe was talking about earlier. I feel the same way. It's just really weird. It, the whole, you have to like catch a combo perfectly to, to really make it feel like it flows, uh, smoothly in my opinion. You know what I mean? You really have to catch those combos and I'm not a combo guy that can chain combos a lot or do it well, so to speak. So yeah. What do you mean by, what do you mean by catch it perfectly? Just curious. Well, I mean, uh, some, uh, when you do, uh, what is that? You you tap X or something like that, and then you can do like a stun where you can do like another chain those moves to do another combo and chain it into another combo. You know what I'm talking about? It's like uh, uh God, I can't remember what the button. I have to like play the game and then tell you what it is. Um, it's a button that you tap. So like instead of doing a fucking uh, the sword slice, you can tap B or something like that. And you can do like uh, a different combo to chain your spear into other stuff. Um, mm. You know what I'm talking about? I think so. I, I, can't, I mean, I can't I, remember I, what the it's only called. thing I can think of is the amplify button. But that's yeah. that's exactly what it is. Oh, okay, it's right bumper. Whatever button it is, yeah. For Xbox, yeah. So to use your amplify, you have to to chain those reactions. You have to do it perfect. It's all about timing. And I'm just I'm not good at I'm not good with my timing right now. It's horrible. So and that's yeah, that was one of the things that I actually got to the point where I was bored with the game. I hate to say it, but um, it was frustrating because they got so dependent on time, and it was I don't know. I just stopped. I was like, I can't I can't do this right now because I was trying to get through all of the tutorials and stuff and I even watched the demo because you can push the menu button on the controller and the computer will show you exactly how to press the buttons you know it's like you know forward oh, YXP so forward YXP tutorial well even no even that applies to the real game too I mean if you want to do the same thing mm -hmm. in the game you have to copy that timing and it just seems like the game is so dependent on timing, especially like flawless blocking. Oh, yeah. God. I'm like, uh, you have to press block when you get hit. I'm like, that's not a block. It's like smack. Oh, I blocked. No, you didn't. Yeah, I get what you're talking about. Because, I mean, even when I'm playing, mm -hmm. like, I try to roll out of the way. And, like, I just stand up because I didn't do it, do it at the right second. 
so that I end up not blocking and I'm getting hit again. And God damn it. So I get, I get where you guys are coming from right there in that aspect. Yeah. Yeah. Just anything. I do love the, go ahead, Chris. I was just going to say anything to do with timing. It's just, it's a lot more difficult. And then it kind of, I, I get burnt out too. I'm just like, fuck this, this kind of sucks. Cause I'm not, I'm not good with my timing with it. So we'll yeah, I do, to... I do love the crypt. I like the layout of the crypt and how they did the crypt. And the blindfold, right? Yeah. The fuck that. <laughs> Those fucking jump scares are stupid. Just like in, what was it? 10 or deception where it had the spider come out and it was 10. Yeah. Oh, there's spiders. Cool. But, yeah. Fuck you, John. No, what did I do? Everything. Okay. I, I was just curious. Anything? And then? Rando? So we're on Rando. Oh, is that what we're doing now? So I didn't, well, did I didn't know that was our transition. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to move on down to Rando shit. Do you guys have any Rando shit this week? I, I have to send praise my nephew's way. So, um... Silas made first state team for baseball this year, which means he was one of the top 14 players in the state for for a baseball for varsity. Ooh, nice. And okay. he's and he's a sophomore, so I have to send praise his way. Not a boy, Silas. Yeah, good nice shit, Silas. So he got first team region, which is like Grand Canyon region, and then he also got first team state, which is only 14 kids in Arizona. Wow. wow! Nice. That's awesome. We're getting major so, echo, by the way. I don't know. Yeah, we've had we've had major echo. I'm sorry, but it was getting kind of annoying. <laughs> um, yeah. Congratulations, Silas. That's all I got. Um. So this last week, wow, echo got really bad. Um, I graduated from college. I now have a bachelor's degree in business management and operations. It's like a stadium. It sounds terrible. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Fuck. So <laughs> this is this is why I was having a hard time talking. Like that whole time I was talking because I kept hearing myself. So welcome yeah. to my hell, John. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, I blame Chris. Fuck you, Chris. What did I do? It's, seriously, it's getting louder. Well, I didn't do anything. I've been sitting here. It's still just... your fault. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's still your fault. <laughs> Fuck you, John. Um, so, yeah, this last weekend, I, my wife and I and my kids drove to Pullman, Washington, which is about a five and a half hour drive to go to my graduation. And, yeah. Um, it took about seven hours to get five and a half hour drive because my kids kept having to go pee and nobody could coordinate properly and we had having to stop because one kid had to pee and then my wife had to pee and then another kid had to pee go for it so, any any accidents no no wait yes but only in the first half hour <laughs> of course yeah, now we left um, We left our house and realized our DVD player in my wife's car doesn't work. It did work the last time we tried to use it, but for whatever reason, it's not working now. So about 45 minutes, half hour after we left the house, we had to stop at a Walmart and buy the two little seven-inch DVD screens so that my daughter would stop crying because both boys had tablets and my daughter just that nothing because the dvd player wouldn't work go to sleep yeah so that's when we discovered that she had shit her pants <laughs> boy yeah. this story took a turn <laughs> yeah anyway so i graduated i'm done uh which is why i'm drinking scotch celebrating go kooks i went to graduation I I didn't get to walk across the stage. Nobody got to walk across across the stage. So I was a little disappointed. Like, hey, I'm gonna get to go do the walk, walk across the stage, get my diploma. Nope, nope. They came down in front of the stage. And Bastards. then you shit your pants. 
<laughs> <laughs> I did not. Oh, but, okay. Yeah, but it was fun. I had a good time. I'm really glad to be done. And scotch is delicious. Joe's having a hard time listening to this. He is. You're having a hard time listening to yourself, so. Mm-hmm. The scotch is helping now, right? It is helping. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me get some more real quick. It's because he's not wearing his glasses, so he's already seeing double, so hearing double is just not really that much of an effect. Brando, Chris? Uh... No, I don't really have anything other than make sure you uh, rate and review our podcast on iTunes. And that's pretty much what I have. Joe? And send in a bracket. God damn it. Joe, you got any rando? Yeah. Oh, man. Audio Uh, listeners are loving this. Yeah, well, you're going to edit it anyway. Um... (laughs) Well, Rando, there probably won't be a video this week unless I can take the audio from the podcast because this echo is crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I kind of wanted to touch on time travel. Um, it happened a little bit in the, I want to say the 90s. You think about it, you had like Back to the Future, you had Time Cop, you had Terminator, you had all of these movies with, oh. with time travel. And then now you've got like um, the Russian doll on Netflix. You've got the Avengers. You got Mortal Kombat. And they're all talk about time travel. And I just thought it was. I just was interesting how the trend was like from the '90s. It was all time travel stuff, and then it fell off, and now it's back. So, hmm. yeah, I just thought it was kind of interesting looking at everything that had time travel now. And I like how they shit on Back to the Future, especially in the Avengers. Because <laughs> um, it's shit. It's bullshit. So, fuck Back to the Future. Um, <laughs> yeah. That was it. Just talking about time. And time travel. It was still confusing. I saw Endgame again, and I still was fucking confused at what Bruce Banner was talking about. Did you figure out how Thanos got there? Damn it. Nope. Because okay. there was only there was only one pin particle. How in the fuck did he get there? That's what I'm saying. Right? Okay. Did you wanna talk about time travel or you just wanted to bring that up? I just wanted to bring about see if anybody else had anything to say about it. I mean I mean I agree, I did notice, and it might be because I got Mortal Kombat and watched Avengers in the same week. But I was like, that's a lot of time travel going on right now. Um I think it's just a big a lot of things that are really big on time travel right now i don't want to say that it hasn't been around like regularly i think we're probably not thinking of all the time travel stuff throughout the years it's just the uh these huge things that we were discussing mortal kombat avengers simultaneously it, it just feels that way no oh, and i forgot to mention star wars um if those of you that have not watched Star Wars Rebels, they touch on time travel. And there's a new theory that if you ever watched, uh, spoiler alert, I guess, if you haven't seen the last few episodes of Rebels, um, they're able to travel in time and the Emperor knows about it. And when he does there's this blue flame that's around him and he's trying to like get to the character in rebels. So now they're tying that when the emperor fell into the core of the death star, there was blue flame. And they said that when he did that, he teleported and went somewhere else in time. So that's Mm -hmm. what may be leading to, yeah, I know mind blown may be leading to the, the next Star Wars. Cool. Interesting. Sweet. Oh, kind of good and bad news, I guess. Um, <laughs> sorry. I wanted to talk about football now. Um, I don't know. I'm on the fence. I still think he's a shitty guy for doing it, but Tyreek Hill, they like haven't found anything in the NFL is not doing anything about it. So That's, okay. that's a good thing. 
kind of. And we got his replacement, so I'm not even worried about it. Yeah. Time will tell. We'll see what happens to Tyreek. So, good luck to him. Yeah, I'm thankful Jamal Charles and Derek Johnson both retired as Chiefs, so yep. I can wear my uh, Jamal Charles jersey now. There you go. Good thing you didn't burn it. I remember I'm that episode. So glad I didn't burn it. I was seriously... <laughs> Yeah, well, you guys have anything else before we close up episode number 127? Nope. Nope. Nope, I'm done. All right, cool. It's going to conclude episode number 127. This is Chris. I'm going to go play some video games. I am out. See you later. This is John. I'm going to go play Division 2 again and grind on the boringness. I'm out. This is Miguel. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to play D's Gone. Yeah, you do. Uh, this Joe, I don't know. I might turn on Red Dead. Maybe. Game on. Game on. Game on. Game on. Gamer Talk Podcast. Season fucking two.